as I've had conversations over the past year doing interviews with a variety of women, one phrase has come up time and time again, and that's that women in our business find themselves to be the only woman in the room. I see heads nodding out there. So look around right now, and at least at Break Bulk, you are not the only woman in the room. Today, I've invited five women to share a little bit about their careers. It's been a long haul. It's been different. I was brought up in the machinery moving business doing plant relocations. I actually started while I was still in school. If I wanted money for spending, if I wanted to go on a class trip, guess who was out moving machinery with the family? Me. In the beginning, I kept everything here. Because if I asked a question, I was weak. I was seen as weak. I was seen as, she doesn't know what she's doing. But then once I started networking, and I was talking to more and more women, that is what gave me courage. They asked if I wanted to go to Romania. And I thought, oh, gosh. Okay, what an experience, right? So I raised my hand again. I said, okay, I'll, I'll try it out. Well, number one, getting into Romania, don't speak the language, right? Very difficult. I walk into the office, it's nothing but men. I was the only woman, and I worked my butt off trying to prove to them that I could do it. What I want you to take away from, from my experience is just, just put yourself out there. Raise your hand. Say, I think I could do that. And the opportunity came for a project manager's job, and nobody had come to me. And I walked into my boss, a woman, Beverly Waldron, at the time, and I said, Bev, I want this job. I want this opportunity. She said, what took you so long? Why did you not come earlier? She said, it's yours. Take it. And it was the most exciting thing I had ever done. But I put myself out there. It was scary. You don't know if you're going to succeed every time. And that's okay. I had a pivotal moment a couple of years ago. And um, I was getting up to give a briefing to some industry groups. And in passing, I told my director at the time, you know, I just I started my career late. And he stopped me and said, according to who? He's like, this is your story. You know, this is your journey. And I guess the takeaway for me was the way we tell our story to ourselves is really important. For me, I'm new to this industry 10 months in, and I'm just so fortunate for the people that I've met along the way and the people that really believed in me and saw this little girl who had no idea what she was going to do and was just really scared about real life. And they took a chance on me. And I'll say every day right now, I still have this, you know, CEO who takes a chance on me and knows that I'm not the most seasoned. And I, I may not always know what the best move is, but I will work hard and I'll be there and I'll have a plan. We probably all picked up on the message. No matter where you are in your career, take a chance. Go for it. Raise your hand. Who said that? Yeah, that's right. Raise your hand. Understand that women starting out, it's hard and it's hard in our business. So if you are a little farther along in your career, reach out and be supportive. You can hear how important that is to all of these women. Someone, multiple people took a chance on them. We will continue doing this at our 2020 Break Bulk events in Dubai in Shanghai, in Bremen, and of course, when we come back next year to Houston. <laughs>